Oh dear, no, it's, oh dear, I can't get this camera thing right, can I? Hang on a minute. <laughs> no, no, oh, well, I'll have the rough look then, shall I? How's that, guys? I'm alive. I'm live with Yeah, this. you're live. You're I don't live. worry, don't worry, I don't worry. No, I've gone the other don't way. I'm going the wrong way. I'm doing this way. Oh, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. There's worse things in the world. There you go. Oh, you just messed it up. I just fixed it. No, that's right. That's oh, there you fine. go. That's That'll sorted. Do. That's sorted. There That'll you go. do. Look at that. Thank you very much. I do look good. <laughs> um, right. So, uh, we're having a few mouse uh, things going on here. What are we doing? Just making sure the music's quieter. Oh, the, I've got <laughs> quite some music as well. Um, well you can turn it up if you no, want. No, no, no. That's good. Right. There's... Um, for just the next five minutes, let's not have so many typing. I want the typing to stop just for five minutes. Uh, and, and hopefully appreciate that for me. So, um, what was, now what? Nothing. Oh, okay. I'm just, you, you do <clears> nothing. <throat> this is my stream now. <laughs> um, right, I've got something to tell you guys. Um, but don't take it as all as a doom and gloom because um, I'm not doom and gloom. And I've, um, going to be doing a big awareness because I think um, it's something that I feel I want to do and I've already got it all over the UK and uh, I've also tried to get something over to LKQ um, uh, in Europe so this is what I've, I've asked to do um, because um, I've got prostate cancer and um, I'm Luckily enough, I've got a very, very good hospital close to me. Be careful with your yes. words. <laughs> and and they and and they are uh, they have one of the best doctors in the UK that um, is going to be looking after me. So um, I'm in good hands. I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky um, that because of my determination and not accepting um, listening to what my doctor was fobbing me off with that though I'm uncurable so they say at the moment but this is angry dad he beats everything um, because my doctor didn't listen to me and um, <laughs> 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 so, so I like a lot of the nice words. Go on, you carry on. Oh. oh, Dad. Your kindness is, uh, oh, he, he loves, honestly, the, the kind words, he really, really appreciates it. So, thank you for that. Um, yeah, um, it's been a bit, we've known for a while. Um, I don't know if, if Angry Dad doesn't want to come back, I'm not going to make him because it is a, it's been a hard time, as you can imagine. And um, I will be sending you, I'll, I'll screenshot all the things you're saying now. If he doesn't come back, I'll send them to him. Don't worry. And if you want to post messages in the Discord or Gilded or in something I'm going to say in a minute. Um, it's been really rough, <laughs> but we're, we're dealing with it and it's not all doom and gloom. Um... But it has been, as you can imagine, very hard for us to deal with. And when I said earlier this year that things are not okay, I don't want to talk about it, but things are not okay, this is what that's been about. Um, so Angry Dad has stage four aggressive prostate cancer. Yesterday, he had his um, first batch of chemotherapy. Uh, so he's going to be going through that, which is why he's home and why he's worrying about his hair. Uh, it's been uh, really hard, um, but we've also been dealing with it as a family, which is why we didn't want to talk about it openly at first. But it's kind of got to the stage now where we have the answers, sort of. We know what the future's holding, sort of. And it's not going to go away anytime soon, if ever. So we've realized now that we kind of have to talk about it because if I don't talk about it, number one, I'm missing out on a really great opportunity to spread information. 
and raise awareness of these causes. And number two, I would be coming to stream in a right miserable mood or feeling off or whatever. And you would not know why. And you just think I'm being a grump. Um, so I think being open and honest about it is really, really important. Um, we were spending a long time trying to think up a charity stream or some way that we can turn this horrible, horrible situation uh, into something good. As you will know, Angry Dad is an incredible person, an amazing man, wonderful, funny, comes on the stream all the time. And um, I, I decided that I don't want to do... Uh, I, I, I want to do charity and I want to raise awareness. But more than anything, I want to make sure Angry Dad has everything that he needs. Um, so instead of starting a charity stream, I've decided... And there's absolutely no pressure. Um, but I am doing a GoFundMe instead for anyone that wants to support Angry Dad. Uh, obviously going through chemotherapy he's getting the medication that he needs through the NHS but any comfort items will not be supplied and although Angry Dad is still working he's working from home I don't want him to look at something like a pillow for his back and go I don't want to buy that because it's spending money that I might need to have on food I want him to have a pool of money that he can buy books for when he's going into chemotherapy or anything to make him as comfortable as possible and I feel like a GoFundMe, a lot of people have said, if there's any way I can help, please let me know. And I feel like if I do this GoFundMe, it will give people a way that they can help. And you can give as much or as little or nothing. Kind words are okay as well. I'm going to see if there's a way that I can have um, comments on there. But I'm going to make like um, uh, one of those keyboards where you can send well wishes to Angry Dad as well. But at the moment, the GoFundMe is up. Um, let me just go get it up for you, for those that are interested. Um, I've not posted this anywhere yet, so, uh, this is the first place that it's going. Uh, Angry Dad will most likely want to give some of the money to charity. If he does, I will go ahead and post screenshots. Um, we want to give some money to our local hospital, but we obviously don't want to reveal our local hospital. So that's a bit of a difficult thing. I want to do a charity fundraiser for them, but I can't reveal my location, which is really hard because they've done so much for Angry Dad. And when I say that your support and your love has done so much for me this year, you, you don't even know. You don't even know how much you have kept me afloat because without you I really don't know if I could have gotten through it what we have so far and what I'll continue our family will continue to go through and again I'm really sorry if this is hitting anyone because um this is a subject that affects a lot of people um but I will say if you have a prostate um whatever gender you might be because multiple people have prostates these days if you notice anything going wrong in the bedroom, if you notice any changes in how you go to the toilet, if you have your first PSA test and it's quite high and they say, that's normal, do not take that. Do not take it. Push it. If you feel like there's something wrong with your body, do not give up. You push because Angry Dad pushed and that's right. how we got the answer right. now. You're all right? I'm He's all come right. back. He's come back. Do you, I won't, I'm not going to scroll up, but people said lots of really lovely stuff. Yeah, that, I'll send yeah. it to you later. That's, that's why I I'll want send it. it to, I'm going to make a little board for everyone yeah. where they can that's, post that's nice why, things. I didn't, that's why I didn't want... Uh, Do you want me to hide the chat for just, a bit? Just for a bit, yeah, because okay. I can Angry I can Dad's going to... I'm going to hide you for you, a minute, okay? You guys have gave me the first upset, you know? I'll, that? I'll look on my phone, but I'm going to hide it from yeah, Angry Dad. just hide it for a sec. That's it. That's good. Right. So, <laughs> you 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 lot gave me uh, the first time my youngest daughter there says said she's never seen angry ups, angry dad upset. So I'm a little bit emotional for some reason today. Could be the steroids I'm on. Um, so um, I, <laughs> uh, as I was saying, I, I wanted to do a really big thing about this, and the, the reason why I want to do a big thing um, is because, uh, as I was saying, my doctor was ignoring my my symptoms my blood tests and if i've got some men well it doesn't matter who it is that's on here 
any man that's over 50, I'm going to start trying to do something about this that we should have at least a blood test once a year to see how our PSA blood levels, what levels they're at. And, and then it's not a hundred percent guidance. It is just that. It's a guidance to see what's going on. Because mine from June, uh, for April last year, throughout the year of complaint, and all my symptoms were, I wasn't going to wee properly. It was just a little bit hesitant. And, and I complained about it, and he gave me a tablet in June last year to help me do a wee. Well, thank, uh, well, thank for my thoughts on that was, being me, I prefer to know what's wrong instead of masking the problem up. And I never took those tablets. Otherwise, I would be sitting here now with that cancer inside me spreading further than what it already has. And I don't know if Kay Powell has told you what levels I'm at, but I'll quickly go through that as well. So this is this is the thing, guys, okay? Um, I... What's this? No, no carry on. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, when you do all this, I don't know what Sorry, sorry. Anyway, okay. Um, it took through to April the following year, a year later after my PSA levels going up six times in a year, for me to get, finally, to get a conversation with an out and hours doctor um, that said that she wasn't happy and she fast-tracked me into my hospital. This is so very hard because I have to protect where I am and everything. Um, so, which is right, so. Anyway, so, the fast-track system with the NHS to find my diagnosis was absolutely amazing it was amazing can't complain about the NHS and I'm not really complaining as such about my doctors because they're only GPs and GPs won't know everything but they have you noticed every time you do finally get to go and see one face to face which I hadn't done only in June last year and that's when he examined me and said I was alright and didn't care whether my PSA levels went up five times higher than what mine is there should have been a alarm bell there as well that he said that I'm okay and gave me those tablets to me go away and get me on my way but when you think about it it's a bit like that advert you get in the UK that you see someone waiting for the cancer results and he opens that box and they say to you you haven't got cancer well that's what I wanted to hear in June but what he should have done to see that it had gone up twice, my PSA level's already gone up twice since then, was, look, the prostrate feels okay, but your PSA levels have gone up twice, and I would like you to go to a scan. That is what I should have had last year. Because have I had gone last year, and there's a good chance that my cancer hadn't have spread outside the prostrate. So mine has gone outside. It is in my bone, but we are talking the smallest piece in my pelvis. So I'm hoping that because it's, though they say I'm uncurable, um, I'm hoping we're going to get that little bit out. And it's also grown on the very outside of my prostrate. So I'm hoping because the hospital, when I went and visited the urology department, they said to me, because they lied to me as well, <laughs> how could they not? Um, they are going to give me absolutely everything they got. With that, I'm mostly going to go through um, quite a lot of treatment, which is not going to be very pleasant. Um, but hey, this this is no gain without pain, is there? So I want to beat this. I want to make an awareness and I, I re and, and though a lot of people keep their cancer diagnosis quiet, I'm not doing it for sympathy. I'm doing this because I want you to tell your 
granddads, your dads, your fathers, your husbands and everything, if they're 50, just go to your doctor and ask for a PSA blood test. If they say why, turn around and say, I would like to have a PSA blood test. Especially if you're getting up during the night to do a wee a few times, and especially when you are doing a wee, it's hesitant or it could be painful. There's other symptoms. Just look on the prostrate.org page and, and they will tell you all the symptoms because obviously we've got a few ladies in the area here, haven't we? Um, I'm not afraid to talk about them. I didn't really have them symptoms because I hopefully have got it a little bit earlier than what most men have done. But that poor guy that was in the wall yesterday while I was having my chemotherapy put inside me, which that wasn't too bad, if I'm honest. So if you've got to have this, don't panic about it. Um, he was 71 and um, he had to wait for him to find out he couldn't get out of bed. He was so riddled with the cancer. It had gone into all his bones, all his back bones. He couldn't get up out of bed. He was 71 years of age. And when they tested his PSA level, it was 200. At his age, should be four. Mine was four last year. And I was 52. There's an alarm bell for me as well there. So, listen, if he was having a PSA blood test every year, or maybe after 60 you should start having two, I don't know. Um, they might have found his cancer a little bit quicker and he wouldn't be sitting next to me with his third dose of chemo. The only good thing about it, which I did learn quite a lot from the guy, was I tried the cold cap. Anyone knows what the cold cap is, it's to try and keep your hair so you don't start losing it. And um, he... Uh, he never had the cold cap. I tried it. Listen, I, I had my biopsy. You can imagine, can't you? I had my biopsy while I was awake. I've got quite a high pain threshold. <laughs> I was awake, my legs in stirrups, and they leather strap your feet in so you can't kick the doctor in the head every time he shoots a harpoon in to grab a bit of your prostrate flesh yes it goes right into your prostrate um <laughs> i couldn't i couldn't take that cold cap it was it goes to minus five it's a hat that goes on and it was so painful that I, I just couldn't take it and i had to say to him come take this off so i took it off and i looked over to that guy and he had a head of hair all right he was 71 because you so you can imagine he didn't have the best head of hair but it was still there it wasn't he didn't look like he was a cancer patient he didn't look like he's losing his hair but after coming up here and getting upset before i come up here there's a lady that i know she's got a few fingers in her in pies and she's good at promoting and getting things moving and i'm going to see if she's willing to work with me to get an awareness for men to have some sort of screening for prostate we don't get breasts done, obviously. Well, we should do, because we still could have pros uh, breast cancer. We don't have smear tests. So why can't we have a simple blood test or a simple scan to see? So anyway, I can't see the lovely things that you lot got me upset when I started talking <laughs> earlier. Um, it's mostly the first one I've had. And trust me, um, I've been... Um, diagnosed in April so I've done well to keep smiling and keep going and that's what I'm going to do because I'm I'm determined to beat this um, but look I will read all your lovely things it was because there's so many of you on here and I know how much you like angry dad and I want to make sure you keep angry dad and, I, and you will um, I will read all your little lovely notes afterwards and it keeps I'm not doing this for sympathy I'm not doing it for your notes but I will take them, <laughs> and, and I'll I will make have a look. sure there's yeah. a because I will screenshot the ones that you've done. But I'm going to make like a little board where they can yeah. put them all. Because okay, you will be seen. I know you're all because they're all saying it still. Yeah. They're all saying yeah. nice stuff still. Yeah. So yeah. thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Listen, it's not a broken arm. 
And that's why I'm saying we need to do something for men. It, it's something that could potentially, and it does kill quite a few men. Out of, it, it kills 30% of guys that get prostate cancer. So And other people who have prostates? And other people, yes. Eh? What? What do you mean? Well, think about it. Transgender men, or tra well, transgender women, sorry, might have prostate. Yeah, yeah. So not just men. But look, look. One thing I want to say here but, is, you know, just one yeah. other thing is, just because your PSA level is up, if you have a blood test, um, and just because you're needing to do away, listen, it doesn't mean you've got the cancer. That is another really important thing I want to say to you. It doesn't mean you've got cancer. If you go for this blood test. There isn't always the chance you're going to have cancer. You could have just an inflamed one, which stops you doing a wee. And because it's inflamed, and because PSA blood tests are only a guidance, it puts that up high as well. Okay? So don't be scared when you get a high PSA blood level. Don't be scared that you're having problems going to the toilet. Just go and get it seen because the sooner the better because if it's still contained in the prostate then trust me there is nothing to worry about they will get it and remove it and it's finished you will you would very very unlikely die from it they will control it they might even leave it in there because it's contained, they can leave it in there and control it. And it might never, ever come of it again. Just get it done. And it'll make me a lot happier that my bad experience, which is not bad, because as I'm saying, my hospital is amazing. And they're going to fix me. Um, is that I just want to make it so people are not laying in that bed like a 71 year old man and it spread it through to his bones and he was so happy and um, he thinks he's going to live they always say to you you're not going to live to 90 well funny enough he said I want to prove him wrong and so do I but most of them won't be still around most probably because they was older than me <laughs> to prove a point so <laughs> you know but I will do it um, thank you for your time and I'm sorry I'm really sorry that this stream has been a bit of a doom and gloom about half past two onwards and uh, it wasn't it wasn't of that. It's more of an awareness thing. I want you to see that look, you, you, I'm I'm well. Look at me. I if you wouldn't know. I don't know. I wouldn't know if I was taking those tablets to help me do a wee. I'd still be sitting here now. I could mostly still run to the bottom of the road and back again and not be out of breath. I still enjoy my life, and I'm going to carry on enjoying my life. And a day after chemo, look at me. Right. Don't read what's in Google. I'm fine. Though I'm pumped up still. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I wasn't going to bed last night. And yummy mummy was so tired. And I was sitting out, just leaning over the top of her while she was trying to go to sleep. And I was singing, I just called to say I love you. <laughs> at full at full vocal, vocal level. And uh, she's going, oh my God, how long have you got to be like? And I didn't want to go to sleep. And, and I'm on two lots now. So... Um, Don't know where I get it from. <laughs> K-Power will most probably tell you my progress over the next couple of days, in case I feel a bit grotty. But the that it could be because these tablets are keeping me going. Um, so I'm going to have uh, you only get one shot of chemo, and mine is every three weeks. And um, I've got to have six lots of that. But I've got to be on steroids. They give me anti uh, anti sickness tablets if I need them. And um, I have got a special card that if I'm really bad, I ring up 999 and I get um, antibiotics and that straight away. I don't have to wait for doctors to test me and stuff for blood tests and stuff. So I will get antibiotics straight away. So listen, it's all a good system. Um, so there you go. Right. Thank you for your time. Again, sorry it's doom and gloom. Hopefully I've got some awareness through and I want you to share that with as many people as possible so that I'm not going through this for no reason other than I've got it, okay? I want to gain something out of this. 
and I want you to have a good have, have a good afternoon, evening, night time, morning, wherever you are in the world. See you later and bye bye. <laughs> Love you, Angry Dad. <laughs> Hello, me again. Let me open up chat. Um, I will make sure that Angry Dad sees all your messages um, once. Uh, I'm done with the stream. Um, I can't remember what website it is, but there is a website where you can post pictures and photos. People used it for a couple of Luminaries team's birthdays. I'm thinking about making one of those. Um, obviously, we've also got the GoFundMe that I posted, which, um, again, there's absolutely no pressure for anyone to go and po like do anything on the GoFundMe. But if you want to give a little bit of money and Angry Dad, this was not Angry Dad's idea. This is my idea for Angry Dad. Um, so this will, I've written a big post on there. But basically, um, I started a GoFundMe so that Angry Dad doesn't have to worry about, oh, I really want another book for my next chemo session. So I'm not sitting there bored, but I don't want to spend money on it because food prices are going up and everything. And because of the words... Um, because of the world how it is, I'm not going to pressure anyone to donate. You don't have to. Um, I uh, Please, please do not give anything. If you cannot, I want you to look after yourselves more than anything. But if you have some spare squids lying around, then um, I'd really appreciate it to make sure that dad, my dad, angry dad, has all the little home comforts that he needs while he's going through all these um yeah i um thank you to everybody who's been so supportive even though you didn't know what was going on the past few months i know that i've been a little bit off and there's been some days where i've been off more than others as you can imagine this is uh back in april when the diagnosis happened uh it was really wild um that was when i was a little bit snappy with people um, we didn't have any answers. We just were told your dad has cancer and it feels weird to say that out loud because I mean, I haven't really been talking about it a lot, but we didn't know what was happening. It was all a bit scary. It was all sp spooky. And then later down the line, we found out what it was, how advanced it was, what was going on. Um, so thank you to everybody who's been patient and understanding, even before you knew what was happening. And again, I'm not saying this, I'm not doing the GoFundMe to make money or um, to get sympathy for my dad. My dad is an amazing person. Um, I might be a little bit biased, but he is the coolest dad and I wouldn't change him for the world. And I'm so incredibly angry at the world for giving him this when he does everything for everyone else. I mean, he comes on the stream, he goofs off, he cheers you all up, he cheers me up, he's amazing. He deserves more than this. And if I could take it from him, I would. I really, I mean, I can't physically cause I don't, you know, but you know, um, if I could take it all the way, I would. Um, and I want to do something nice for him. And being a full-time streamer, I can't really afford to do something really crazy. Like I said in the post, we did all, me and my sisters saved up for the past, since April for Father's Day, we put him in a Spitfire. Um, that was, uh, there was a lot of help from um, my young, my middle sister. I couldn't really put in too much into the pot, so I'm thankful for her. Um, so any help to help keep my dad comfortable, um, give him little home comforts or even if he wants to give it to charity that money is going to be angry dad can do what he wants with it if he wants to use it towards um this campaign that he wants to do he's ha i'm happy for him to do that i just want to raise money for him to do what makes him happy and what makes him comfortable and have a bit of extra funds to do stuff that he might not want to do with his own money because he's concerned about looking after us and our food and i want I don't want that. I want him to have something that he can really... And also, I know that a lot of people out there will want to help. And this gives them a space that they can do that. So, um, yeah. Honestly, I've not been looking at chat too much as well. Just because um, I'm trying to stay professional. Um, yeah. But I... Uh, I'm glad. I feel a bit more relieved now that it's 
off my shoulders a little bit that I can talk to you about it a bit more and that you know what's going on and now I can start the process of turning this horrible horrible situation that honestly hasn't fully sunken in my brain completely even though it's been this long it feels like I'm gonna wake up from a bad dream um it feels like it can't be real I feel like I'm living in an episode of EastEnders I feel like this can't be real life um but it is and it is happening and it is real and I really need to start seeing that and I need to start coming to terms about it and to do that I need to talk about it and um, I feel like talking to my internet family is the first step. Uh, I will be posting this in a few other places like Twitter with some sort of twit longer or something cringe um, <laughs> but um, being able to talk about it means that I can raise awareness and like Angry Dad said we are going to turn this horrible horrible situation into something worthwhile if we can if we can together raise awareness of this situation because it's a bit awkward for me because i am a cis woman i can raise awareness for things like breast cancer and cervical cancer which i have done on this stream we've done quite a few breast cancer streams um but to raise awareness of prostate cancer is a bit more difficult but i want to do that for angry dad i want to do it for you if you're struggling to go to the doctors, five minutes of discomfort going to the doctors, a couple of awkward conversations, it is so worth it so that you don't get to the stage that my dad has or the people in, in the chemotherapy next to him did. Do it, please. Please talk to your doctors. I know it's scary. I know it's embarrassing. I went for my first cervical screening a couple of years ago. It was embarrassing. It was cringy. I hated it. But you know what? When I got that sheet of paper saying everything is okay, it was worth it. Please talk to your doctors. Talk to your family members. Bodies are something that we all deal with. We all have bodies. We all have... We, we all have a body. We all have things wrong with our bodies. We need to be open and talk about it more. Now that the world is growing to be more open and more honest, this is something we need to start doing. We need to stop being so prudish. Is that prudish? Is that the word I'm doing? Like, ooh, I don't want to talk about this. Ooh. Like, not, not in a way, if you're, if you're not ready to talk about it, that is different. I'm talking about being embarrassed. This is nothing to be embarrassed about. We all have bodies. We need to talk to the people. We need to go to the doctors. And if we have concerns, we need to push those concerns because the doctors might be qualified, but no one knows your body like you. If you feel like something is wrong, get it checked out. Unless you're a hypochondriac, then obviously your concerns, you have a lot more concerns than the average person. But, and I'm really hoping I'm not triggering anyone with this conversation, but it needs to be spoken about. It needs to be done. Um, I won't be talking about it every day, all day, um, but I will be trying to raise awareness. And I will be urging people who have prostates to get regular checkups. Angry Dad's right. Um, us women have a lot of hard things in the world, but we do get regular breast checkups when we get over 50. We do get cervical screenings every five years as soon as we turn 25. Men don't get anything until they get to 50 and then they are encouraged to have a PSA test. But it's not enforced as much as cervical screening or breast screening. Why? Why? because men need to be strong and manly all the time. That's another thing that we need to break down, another social construct that makes no sense. Men have problems too. Men have emotional things going on or painful things going on. We need to, we really need to look after each other more. And although again, like women have our own problems, we need to voice the problems of the men and the they and the thems more as well because everyone have it has issues we can't just focus on the same issues all the time and this is one that i never even considered or even knew that was a problem until ang until it was until we're in the situation we're in now i should have known way before that i should have we should have known we should have known that angry dad should have been getting more regular checkups 
Even if it was every five years, like cervical screening. Although the thing is with prostate cancer, it can explode real quick. So it's a silent killer. Uh, don't panic. If you do have problems going to the toilet or in the bedroom, don't panic, but get it checked. A couple of minutes of discomfort is worth it for the sake of possibly your life. But please don't panic. Please don't start getting paranoid. Please don't start crying. Um, just get the answers first. But please, please take it seriously. Also, I see Bart Spot Bart spotted the most inappropriate message. Bart Spot, why did you do that to Deaf Dealer? <laughs> I will delete that for you, Deaf Dealer. I'm very sorry that Bart Spot done that. My gosh. I should have turned off Bart Spot while having this conversation, shouldn't I? <laughs> How very realm of insanity of us. I'm reading chat again now. I will go back and read chat. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get my words out before I um, started reading chat. But hi, chat! I'm a streamer. I'm reading chat again now. Uh, thank you for all your love and support during that. I have been glancing in chat. I have seen all your kind words. I haven't replied to them all because uh, this was a... Uh, it was hard to know what to say and do. But here we are. Um, I'll be doing a post later about the GoFundMe and a couple of other things. Um... And I'll do that website, whatever that's called, where you can don't have to do money. You can just post a lot of things. Does anyone know if um, on the GoFundMe, can you post words of support without donating? Or do you have to donate to do words of support? Because if you can just do words of support on there without donating, I'll just say do it on there. But if not, I'll do that other thing, whatever it was called. Sorry if anyone already said, I've just been avoiding it. Get your check up with all the necessary lab tests every year, folks, including the PSA test, if of the necessary age. Like my wife reminds me when I whinge about going to the doctor, not knowing what might be wrong doesn't make it go away. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't know doesn't mean it's not there. Absolutely. You do have to do a donation. Okay, I will do um, a, one of those board things angry dad i'll also show him everything you said in chat as well i don't know how i'll screenshot it all but i'll find a way i'll find a way i'm um, sorry to bring a bit of doom and gloom to the stream i know this is a um a safe space where we do avoid these topics but i really just wanted to talk to you about it and air out and just kind of let you know why things have been a bit off recently. I don't want you to think I'm a horrible person. And I've been slacking on DMs and emails and everything. And I just I just want people to know that I'm really trying. I'm really trying. But things are rough. We're dealing with it. It's not completely rough. It's not like the world's ending. But we're dealing with it. We're, we're doing what we can. But things are... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a tough situation, really. After a certain age, checkups are important. Absolutely. After losing my father-in-law in 2019, I'm more aware of things. Good. Well, not good that you lost your father-in-law, but good that we're more aware. If we can spread awareness, it makes all the people we've lost, it makes their sacrifice in a way not worth it, but mean something. You know, if we can spread awareness and make some good out of this bad it me it means something then it's not meaningless it's not just mindless loss i'm trying to choose my words carefully you know what i mean i'm not i'm not yeah <laughs> it's hard it's hard i think you have to donate it gave me an option to make a message after i donated ah I never apologize so i want to know this test do they measure it from the urine of a so there's a bunch of different ways they can do it but i think the main way is they do a blood test with the psa um if you have a prostate they'll do a blood test um it is mostly men that deal with this um, but i do try and choose my words carefully because transgender women suffer with this as well non-binary people suffer but it is the majority of people that suffer with this are men. It's kind of like breast cancer is mostly um, like geared towards women's health, but also transgender men, non-binary people, they suffer with it as well. So I do try and use my words carefully, but yeah, basically they'll do a blood test. If it's high, they'll do a test where they put their fingers up your bum and they feel it. And honestly, um, that one can be hit or miss because... 
they said my dad's was fine and it wasn't, so I don't know what. Just, just push. If you feel like something's up, push. Push, push, push. You've been internalizing it for so long, yes. Sweet, you stop saying sorry. I'll try. Goodness, girl, you needed to air this for your sanity. I hope this helped it lift some weight off your shoulders. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you have a PO Box K that chat could send some cards, etc., for support? I do, but it's currently only available to the patrons. And I have to pay for each one that arrives, I think. Um, but I could, I could do something like that, yeah. Uh, um, Patreon and Ko-Fi have access to the PO Box at the moment. It has a blowback if you do that. I forget what I said. No need to apologise. There's a lot to handle and a process to talk about. I shared the GoFundMe on my Twitter. I may not have many followers, but it, maybe it'll spread a little. Oh, Harley, thank you. I will be doing my own tweet as well. Um, I will be doing a little Twitter video, a Twitter post, and I'll be, uh, you can share it if you want. There's no pressure. If you can't afford to put money in, please, 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 the last thing I want you to do is feel bad because just you being supportive, loving on me, supporting me. This music's a bit sad. And don't want this. Um, the, the, it's just meant, it means so much more than the money, but the money obviously will help angry dad keep comforts while he's going through treatment and things like that which could be a lifelong thing we don't know what's gonna go on they're saying it's not treatable or curable so i'm just gonna believe what they say think the worst and if the best happens then i'll be surprised if the worst happens then i was prepared for it so that's a bit of a doom that's a bit of a gloomy way to think of it but it's the way that i protect myself so don't worry, Kay. Like I said, it's a tough situation. We all know what you mean. Thank you, Alistair. I'm glad that you wanted to share this with us. Thank you for this, and I will support you no matter what. Thank you, Drama. I lost four family members in a year, and by internalizing it, I was in a depression for almost two to three years. If you and uh, Angry Dad can find a support group, I highly recommend it. We have, um, there is a support group that we could go to. Um, that we, we would probably, if we did get a lot of money on the GoFundMe, we'd give some money to the support group because they do a lot of really good stuff for the local community and we know quite a few people that go, which is kind of sad, but you know. PSA blood test is no biggie, it's just one of the money tests that doctors runs on my blood sample every year. Exactly. Thanks for clearing that out. No worries. They can get it wrong. I was told for I was told for three years that my liver mass was not cancer and it's not to worry about. Then it did turn into cancer. Uh, I was ticked at them, I bet. This is the problem. Doctors are human. They make mistakes. Probably not on purpose. Be a bit messed up if they did. There's probably some, like, really dark stories of doctors doing it on purpose. But anyway, I'm going into my crime brain, my Netflix crime brain. Um, but they don't do it on purpose. But if you feel like something is wrong with your body, keep pushing. No one knows your body like you. The doctors have training, they have PhDs, they have diplomas or whatever, but you have your body. You have your body. And if you're a hypochondriac, don't listen to this advice because um, this is probably very triggering and I'm very sorry, um, but you have your own ways of dealing things. Listen to your therapist if you have one, not me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to touch all the faces. My brain's going mad. Regular tests are very important. Very, very important. My messages are taking like 10 seconds to go off. Occupational hazards of living 5,000 miles away from the UK. Uh, there is like a couple of seconds where they don't appear in chat. Only I can see them. I'm also taking a little while to, to um, catch up with chat. You also might need to refresh the stream if you've got a long delay. Um, you shouldn't have ads. Uh, because we won't have another ad for another 23 minutes. So you shouldn't have ads if you refresh. It should have to turn off. Oh no, pre-rolls are apparently on. Just kidding. Don't know why I bother playing ads to turn off pre-rolls when it's apparently not working. But oh well. I don't get this. I turn on play a certain amount of ads every now and then. And then it doesn't... It says this will turn off ads forever and it doesn't. I don't get it. Regular tests are very... When in doubt, get a second opinion. Exactly. Netflix guy brain. I need to get Mr. Pluto to get screened. 49 in a family history, but he's being a bummo about it. Stubbertson, if you want, I will get Angry Dad to do a video of him saying, Get your PSA done, you smelly fart or something. <laughs> if not, just tell... Just tell... Just tell him Angry Dad told, told him to. Say, Oi, Mr. Pluto. Angry Dad said so, you flop. You absolute flop. Um, 
let me say some thank yous because some of you have been absolutely incredible um, and have sent in some donations uh, to the GoFundMe. Uh, I don't know your usernames, so I don't know if I want to read out the names, but to everybody that has donated to GoFundMe so far, thank you so, so much. Um... I really did not expect so many people to put some money in the pot already. Uh, especially in the world the way it is. And I will be doing my own post, because obviously I've not posted anything public apart from this. So I'll be doing my own post later. I'll be doing like a tweet and a couple of other things that you can retweet my stuff if you so wish. Um, but yeah, thank you. We've had £250 raised already and it's literally been how long we've been talking about this for a, an hour and we've got 250 quid for angry dad already to get himself some nice books for his chemo or anything like that whatever he wants to do with it charity i don't know what he wants to do with it it's all up to him this is his the ball is in his court i said look we could do a charity stream or we could do this and angry dad said i feel a bit weird raising money for me but I was like, but this is about you. And you can use that however you want. If you want to give it to charity, you do that. If you want to buy some books with it, you do that. If you want to buy a nice cushion for you, for your back, when you start to wake, you do that. Do whatever you want with it. I just want to do something nice for Angry Dad to help him fight this. And uh, that's one thing my dad is, is a fighter. A massive fighter. He'll fight you. So don't, don't mess with Angry Dad or Papa Pal. I'm not the most active stream tweeter, but sent one out. Uh, it only let my real name go up on GoFundMe. Kept looking how to type Twitch name. Honestly, if you look at my name, I've put K PowXD as my name instead of my real name. I'm hoping GoFundMe doesn't shout at me for that. <laughs> um, but if it's any consolation, um, I know if you if you want to tell me who's donated what, then you can. But if not, no one knows your names. So you're pretty much anonymous. It's fine. <laughs> Most of my family have been through chemo. It's horrid, but not the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Angry Dad had his first one yesterday. He's coping really well so far. He's a bit wired on steroids. <laughs> I think he's he's just like, he's, a, he's very wired on steroids. He's going on, he's popping off, isn't he? Um, thank you to everybody who sat through this chat and supported this chat. Um, I genuinely really, really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm probably repeating myself at this point, but thank you. I, I really do appreciate it. He got this, he does got this. Um, I guess now we go kill people in the Elder Scrolls Online? Seems appropriate, question mark? <laughs> question mark? My dad went through something similar, but with a chest infection. The doctor gave him painkillers a while later. My dad was rushed to hospital. It was a serious chest infection. He now has scarring in one of his lungs. Definitely push if your doctors ignore you. Um, what you're saying. You know your body better than anyone. Exactly, Harley. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very much for sharing your little story. And all the other stories that have been shared in chat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you did miss Angry Dad's uh, message. But uh, I will be I'll be posting the VOD, I guess. I'll be saving the VOD. Um, I'll also be doing a post in Discord and Gilded. But yeah, it feels like a lot to just suddenly dump on you. So could I ask for the GoFundMe? Yep, yep, here you go. Although the GoFundMe pretty much does a good good explanation, I guess. Could I ask for the GoFundMe link? Had to open stream on my private PC. It's blocked on company's lurking service. Um, also, I should probably make a command for this. How do I even word a command? How do I word a chat command? Exclamation mark GoFundMe? Maybe? Angry Dad fight? GoFundMe makes sense, doesn't it? How do I word this? GoFundMe. No worries, Siege. No worries. Um, we had a big conversation about it. I would recommend watching the whole chat because uh, Angry Dad's an amazing man and he's really dealing with it in such an 
inspiring and incredible way and it makes me so angry that it happened to him but oh well yes heck cancer you suck stuff you cancer <laughs> cancer you stink you stink you pen and ink and you suck and you're smelly saucy wet Slimy, mouldy, willy, you. <laughs> um, so, uh, GoFundMe, let's do... Um, do you have anything other than a GoFundMe? I, I don't support them. Why do you not support GoFundMe? They take a little bit of a fee, but so does PayPal. So does everything. Unless they've done something that I haven't heard about. I did do some research and they seemed like the one that most people that are going through cancer use. Um, I know AEV uses them, so... Um, but I do, I do have donations straight through the stream, but that goes straight into IRL Hearthfire. So that's why I did this, because it's separate. The tips go to IRL Hearthfire, the GoFundMe goes to Angry Dad. Um, but yeah, they do take a little bit of a fee, but so does every other platform. And they only take, I think, 5% payment processing, which is pretty good, honestly. Um, Patreon take 8%. Fa um... Fan House take 5%. Uh, Ko-Fi, I think, take 5%. So 5% payment processing fee is pretty average. And uh, that way you know that it's going to Angry Dad or charity. I'm not hoarding it because it's got Angry Dad's name plastered all over it. I didn't want to just be like, give me money and I'm sh I promise it will go to Angry Dad. I, I felt like that would be weird. So I've done this. So it definitely goes to him sort of thing. Um, yeah. I think the fee is adjustable too, even to 0%, really? Huh. But I know that most people are... I know AEV did a GoFundMe and got her money safely. And quite a lot of people I know... Um, my dad had prostate and pancreatic cancer about 10 years apart. The prostate cancer they caught early because he got tested and they caught it early. It gave him another 10 years makes a huge difference getting it early and i'm really sorry to hear that sunny i'm really sorry to anyone that this is bringing up horrible memories um i this is why i kept it quiet for so long but it feels really good to have it out there now to be honest i feel like i can breathe a bit more like i i, I would see things that would upset me on stream like people would come in and talk about cancer and things and i'd it would hit me like a brick because I'd be like, this upset me and I can't even say why. I couldn't be like, you know, I'm upset, so I'm just going to go and be at back break. And it felt really bad to be like, I'm going to go away from the screen after someone just told me that they know someone with cancer. Like, It felt so insensitive for me to do that. But I was like, how else do I deal with this? <laughs> I know the way I am. No need to talk about me that harsh. The smell is always here. Sorry. FYI, you're bringing a tear to my eye, and I thank you for that. We all have gone through this situation on one side or the other. You are in a position to bring light to the subject. Please keep it up. I'll try my best. It is so important to share cancer. It affects so many people, and we need to know we're not alone. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have our support for whatever it's worth. Thank you, Dipping Linton. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to think how to word this command. Um, Help angry I'm, I'm i don't know if i want to put any words with it i might just do the link help angry dad slash papa pal in his fight against prostate cancer oh no we can do the angry dad emo can't we we can do an angry dad what one should we do? like do this one <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to do the one that Angry Dad hates. I'm going to do the glasses one. Um, Angry Dad hates this one. The So I'm not going to do that one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, why can't she? Oh, because it's a bit reward. She can't use it. She can use the spinning one, though. <laughs> when I 
is it inappropriate to have a spinning angry dad head next to it? <laughs> Wearing sunglasses? <laughs> Consensual hugs, Kay. Thank you. I came in late to the combo, but I understand what's going on. Positive healing of vibes to Angry Dad. Thank you, Sweet the Bee. I just... If you could... Anytime you have a chance to make a wish, please wish that Angry Dad proves all the doctors wrong and beats it. I would... I would want nothing more on this earth than to him be, to be able to ring that bell. And if anyone knows what the bell is, if you don't know what the bell is, basically they have a bell in the cancer ward that if you, if you are cancer free you get to ring it i want to see angry dad ring that bell so bad so bad i would do pretty much anything anything for him to ring that bell it seems it seems fitting yeah it's very fitting i think so <laughs> go fun papa power angry dad emo in his fight against prostate cancer link i mean that could work too I hope he rings it so hard it breaks. Me too, me too. Anyone curious conversion of USD to GPP? Yeah, there is a weird conversion rate going on at the moment. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on. Bell emote for when he beats it? Yes. 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 I know that the doctors have to say the worst. Um, So I'm just hoping that it's a case of they have to say the worst. It's not the 100% gonna happen. Maybe I'm stupid for being hopeful, but I think we all have that hope. But I'm gonna assume the worst, and then if good happens, then that's good. It'll make me happy. If I assume the best and the worst happens, then I'll be a mess. So I'm gonna be hopeful, but logical. That's That's my big brain plan. That's my big brain plan. Never give up hope. No. No. I know for a fact that doctors have to say the worst. Because if they say something good and it doesn't happen, they'll get sued. <laughs> so they have to say the worst. Hi, first time here. Oh, I'm so sorry that this is your first time here. Um, found your stream from Ophelia's D&D sessions. I think you're an awesome person and loved your dedication to your Kajaji character. Been lurking a lot because of the subject. It made me cry and I only wish great things for Angry Dad and your family. Sending all the good energy away. Pirate Man V, thank you so much for coming along. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for supporting the uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaign over on Ophelia's channel. I'm um, going to do a quick little shout out in the middle of all the sadness to bring something positive. Um... Well, we're not really sad. We're, we're being quite positive about it. We're, we're trying to spread awareness. But anyway, um, Dungeons & Dragons. If you like Dungeons & Dragons, you like Elder Scrolls Online, go over to Ophelia's channel. Um, Pirate Man is a, a fan, which I'm, I'm a fan of you if you're a fan of Roads Less Travelled. Uh, Kajaji was my first character in Campaign 1, and now we have Rainil, a.k.a. Rain, who is my new character in Campaign 2. Campaign 2 is racking up to be a ridiculous campaign, just much like Campaign 1. So thank you, and thank you for the kind words about Kajaji. I really, really, really appreciate it. I really hope that you enjoy Rainil as well if you've met her yet or are you still on campaign one um i hope you fall in love with Rainil that you did kajaji i know kajaji is a very adorable fluffy kitty so you know um it's a bit difficult to for me to get something as good as that but there there's power to positive thinking what we send out into the universe comes back to us oh yes if anyone is into witchcraft or any of those things please do your magic Please do your rituals and all that. You know, whatever you can do, whatever you believe in, prayers, thoughts, rituals, whatever. Please do that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, yes. Always get told the worst. Had tons of experience of this. Absolutely. Live each day. Heck, yeah. So basically, it's one, two, two for a pound. That's not as bad as it's been recently. Yeah. Being um, British and getting paid in dollars at the moment is not great because of the conversion rates. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it, honestly, even if you give a pound, that's help. Imagine if everyone here gave a pound. There's no pressure to do that. But I'm just saying, don't feel like any amount is too little. Just the kind words that you put along with it will mean everything. And if you can't afford to donate, please, there's no pressure. Please, please, please do not donate if you can't afford it. I will never forgive myself. If anyone goes and eats super noodles for a week because of this, please don't do that. I'm going to make um, 
a board thing where you can write messages and post pictures or whatever. I'm going to make one of those and that will be where you can do the nice messages for free, okay? Um, it's been used for a couple of people's birthdays, but I know that that's a really good way to spread love. Uh, I will also be taking some of the messages from chat and sending them as well. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We stand angry dad in this house. Also, if Lozne is still here... How funny that you mentioned we should start a GoFundMe for Angry Dad earlier in the stream. When you said that, I was like, if only you knew. If only you knew right now. Oh my God. <laughs> it was so weird. Lost Nate was like, we should start a GoFundMe for Angry Dad for something completely different. And I was like, you literally just read our minds. <laughs> well, my mind. This was my idea. Um... Angry Dad's going along with it because he has no choice. I want to do something nice for him. <laughs> uh, I stay awake for news, but I'm going to put my head down. Harley Quinn, thank you so, so much for coming along. I really appreciate it. We'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. I'm going to drink some water because my throat hurts. Your eyes in D&D make me nervous, do they? Yeah, I've seen your first episode from season two. Such a different bunch of characters. Also, I love the Halloween one shot. Oh my gosh, Nalimu was such a fun character to play. Uh, Dawn did amazing as a DM. I'm hopefully going to be doing my first DMing this year or the start of next year in the Realm of Insanity one shot, maybe. Um, but yes, oh, episode two, by the way, uh, Pirate Man, when you watch it, it just gets weirder. <laughs> it just gets weirder. Would a Discord tab channel be a good idea or Gilded for nice words also? I mean, I can do all three if you want. Um, but I know the, the 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 thing that you post, you don't have to log in or anything because I've done it for Scissors' or Bat's birthday, one of their birthdays. Um, someone made it, so I'll do it. I'll, I'll make one of those. I just think having a link where Angry Dad can go on it whenever he wants would be a good idea. He's not in the Discord or Gilded, I don't think, so I'd have to show him that. Right, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's enough of that. 